play NC State winners of two in a row against Duke and then at Clemson on Thursday. Taya Sidbury jumps center along with Sanaya Rivers. And we are off with the seventh ranked Wolfpack, the highest ranked team in a loaded ACC once again this year. NC State on the offensive end averages just under 78 points a game this year. Rivers is seventh in the conference in assists, likes to run things. Amy Collins gives a little handoff. Here is James on the drive, left hand no, but the follow-up for Baldwin, and that's the biggest advantage that NC State has in this game, the size of River Baldwin at six foot five in the paint. Yeah, that rebounding battle is gonna be one to watch throughout this game. How can Boston College back up, box out those bigs down in the paint? Sidbury waits, goes left hand and good. So Taya Sidbury who has nine points in each of her eight ACC games so far this year, averaging more than 13 a game in conference play. We we're talking about it, Eric. This is just so good in distributing the ball. Another take inside. Expect a lot of that this afternoon. Mimi Collins, the grad student from Louisiana, is on the board for two. Octavia Wagner now for Boston College, the former member of NC State, played her freshman season with the Wolfpack, and there's a big triple from Kayla Ivey to get the Eagles offense going. We talked all season long about Kayla Ivey and just trying to develop that shot. If she can keep that shot going throughout this game, it's gonna be tough for NC State to try to guard the outside while also protecting the inside. Kayla Ivey, that is a huge lift. They can find her three-point shot. Double team comes to Collins. Ends up finding space. Oh boy, the double team was there, but it sacked off at the end. And NC State takes advantage. Four points for Collins. Eagles going quickly in transition, which we will see both teams do a little bit this afternoon. The two quick teams like to go fast. Zaniah Rivers on the drive, not there. The junior from Wilmington, North Carolina. And here comes Ivy. Second in the ACC and assists off for Sidbury. That never had a chance and a rebound down to State. Addison Hayes, who is the leading scorer against Clemson in the victory on Thursday, had 24 and eight in that game. And is inside and a foul called as Todd is tied up with Collins. She wasn't backing down from that. She's holding on to that ball. I think they're gonna call a foul here. You see Kayla Ivy just lining that shot up. And right here, just Mimi Collins, good patience to wait for the double team to sag off and then finishes off the glass. It's the type of plays that Mimi Collins makes and she was ranked 22 in the impactful transfers coming to NC State. Going back to Ivy, it was just four of 16 from the floor in the last two games. That three point shot is in there find early to answer for three no follow-up rebound is good well we told you it was gonna be a big key coming into the game and all of NC State's points are in the paint so far four for Baldwin four for Collins just crashing boards a couple of offensive rebounds here for NC State early on so in a traveling violation against Todd we talked with Wes Moore this week and that, you know, we're still a little bit of a work in progress as every team is around this time of year, but he was really happy with how his team came out early in the game against Clemson on the road, whereas he felt like they did not get off to a great start against Miami on the road a week and a half ago in a game that was NC State's just second loss of the season. Well, what Miami did well is play zone defense, and that's what Boston College is doing here. Sends over to Sidbury, who walked. So a couple of unforced turnovers on the Boston College offensive end the last two sequences. Just can't get lazy with that plant foot. You got to make sure it stays on the ground so that the officials aren't looking for that kind of movement so that they can call the travel. And you know, Wes Moore, who scouts teams really well, is probably telling the officials ahead of time this is a big one to look for. Ivy in transition, good pass off. Wagner had to wait, but still manages to find the basket. It's a great job putting it high off the glass as well, knowing that the 
bigs were right behind or trailing in on that play could get blocked from behind. So Wagner knew she had to go high off the glass. Both teams with a good start from the floor. Boston College, three of five. NC State, four for nine so far. And now five for ten as Sanaya Rivers has her first two. Was the ACC sixth player of the year last year. Todd answers. Uh, this is a massive offensive start for Boston College on the floor. And ten points scored in nine games this year for Rivers. Or ten plus points scored for Rivers. It's just incredible to see her develop her shot this year a lot better than it was last year. And a steal from Wagner. Her 68th of the season. Out front to Todd. Got it. Dontavia the steal and the assist at Boston College with an 11 to 10 lead. Both coaches said this game would be a sprint and it feels like that early on here. Back and forth we go. Coach Mack was really looking for energy out of her team early in this game and we've seen it. A couple of travels on one end but they've created some turnovers well. Playing a little bit of a zone defense today. There's Wagner who meets James at the rim. And James will go to the line when we come back. Good start to this game on the offensive side with 4.57 to go in the first quarter. Octavia Wagner, the former member of the NC State Wolfpack with the steal and the assist to get her new Eagles somewhat. Greatness is a feeling. It's great to have so many young fans in attendance here today on this National Girls and Women in Sports Day. It's been a tradition all around college athletics. Boston College has been participating with their women's basketball program and all the women's programs participate. We'll talk about that more as we go through. And they've gotten to watch a couple of steals already for Dontavia Wagner, who is now tied for eighth in Boston College history for all-time steals. 68 of them this year. She came in second in the ACC in steals. I think the big thing with her is just her vision is what allows her to create so many of these opportunities. Yeah, and it hasn't played her full career here at Boston College, right? So that's also with a year short, still climbing up the charts. It just shows you that the defensive part of the game is a big part of Coach's, Coach Mack's philosophy, and Wagner has bought into that philosophy. So James hits a couple of free throws at the line. NC State leads 12-11 here, 447, first quarter. Appreciate you joining us for this ACC Women's Basketball Sunday from Conti Forum. Where the Eagles have not lost a conference game this year. Todd with eight to shoot. Open Sidbury for three, a little short. And James has a long rebound. Looks like BC went into that 3-2 zone now, trying to bring that extra to the top. Nice job by James to step inside. No good on the two, but a rebound from Madison Hayes. Wes Moore told us this week he feels like Hayes is that kind of under-the-radar player that maybe doesn't get talked about quite as much as some of the others, but does all of the little things, like get some offensive rebounds, and that's four of them early for NC State. She's scoring double figures in 13 games this year. She can contribute to this prolific scoring offense for the Wolfpack. Todd, long two is off the mark. On rebound to Collins. Really good close defense by NC State, which is the best in the ACC in field goal percentage defense and three-point field goal percentage defense. That is taken away. So Boston College doing what it does, creating turnovers, now needs to execute on the other end, but a traveling violation is called. On Don, or excuse me, on Andrea Daly. Yeah, I think Daly has a point here. I thought that was tipped, so she had to regather it on her way to the rack, but the official saw it there, there under the bucket. Let's take a look here. So good feed again, great vision from Todd, good cutback, and maybe Rivers doesn't put the hand, hands out, so just a little bobble there. So good call by the officiating crew. Shots have fallen a little less frequently from the floor here all of a sudden. Either team with a made field goal over the last two plus minutes. Sid Berry from the elbow. Nearly lost it, gets it back though. Double teams there. Ayla Lizama into the game for the first time for Boston College along with Nene and Jai. 
You like this reset. Take your time. Ivy looking for help finds Lazama. Got to get it up with three. That was a difficult take with Rivers all over her defensively. Really good job by Sanaya Rivers staying true with Lazama at the end of the timer. Still a one point lead and that is good at the basket for Zaya James, the junior from Virginia Beach, Virginia. 11th in the ACC in scoring this year. And Jai, nice footwork inside, but couldn't finish at the basket, and then a foul. It's one you don't want to take that far away from the basket on Sidbury. Have not been a ton of fouls in this game. It's been up and down the floor at a pretty good pace so far. And you mentioned it earlier, Moscow's hasn't been able to find the bucket. It started off pretty hot, but scoreless in the last 318. You know, what BC has done well is limit the turnovers. They had eight in the first quarter against Louisville last game, just three so far here in the first. And as you mentioned, this is a tough Wolfpack defense that loves to get those steals. Kind of a double-edged sword right on the one hand. Only the three turnovers stands out. There's Collins inside. Couldn't finish. Got a rebound. Second time up. And a held ball gives possession of Austin College. Excellent work by Nene and Jai, the first year from Senegal inside. Yeah, you'll see it here. Just sizes up with Collins. Doesn't want to foul there on the first take. And then right there with the left arm, puts it on the ball to make sure that they get the jump ball possession. And Jai has gotten more time here recently, averaging nearly 22 minutes a game over her last two, including a career-high 10 points on the road against Louisville the other day. Sidbury right hand, tough take, and Jai got a piece of the rebound, but is going to be called for a foul in the process. So all of a sudden here, the Eagles have got a little bit quiet from the floor. They have not scored in nearly four minutes of game time, though in that same stretch, NC State has only scored two. Yeah, it's just a momentum taking Jai over the defender there that that's why the foul is called. If you go straight up and you try to go for that rebound, that's not an over the back, but for the most part, when you go over the defender, that's gonna be called all the time. Three ball for James is too strong. James is 10th in the ACC and three pointers made this year. And Jai, a weave for Boston College. But up on a minute remaining in this first quarter. Wagner, elbow jumper, in and out. State trying to run a little bit. Zoe Brooks, no. And this time the Eagles grab the rebound. Good job sending more bodies for Boston College into the paint to try to get those rebounds and limit the offense of their second chances for NC State. Wagner trying again from the elbow. This time it's good. So four for Dontavia. And a one-point lead again for NC State with perhaps one more possession here in this opening quarter. Or second difference between the game and the possession. Rivers on the drive, all the way in and it goes. Excellent take from Sanaya Rivers. Three point lead, Todd gets it off. And it is a three-point NC State lead after one. Really good. In Chestnut Hill. So both teams that got off to good offensive starts today. The offense slowed a touch as the first quarter went on. Here's an open look for Brooks. That was short. Rebound though to NC State. That is six offensive rebounds for the Wolfpack. Oh, nothing doing here. Boston College started five of seven from the floor, then one of seven to end that first quarter. And Jai, just six seconds remaining on the timer. Gotta get it off, and just a bit outside. Sometimes that shot clock forces you to go a little quicker, even though you have more time than you think. It was a good screen there from Daly, but Njai just didn't see it, so she couldn't dish it off. And 
again, more credit to the NC State defense. They're active hands, they're moving around, they're in sync here in their defensive sets. It's Bob Uecker's birthday this week, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> James for three, that's good. Isaiah James cornered pocket seven points. And NC State with its largest lead of the afternoon so far, 19-13. In its own defenses, you have opportunities to shoot. You gotta take them, and when you have good shooters like James, they're gonna start falling eventually. Todd coming around and stripped. Sanaya Rivers, third in the ACC, and steals, and the foul. We were talking about transition. That's what happens when you get a steal from the top of the key. Good speed for Rivers. You see it, that's the three in the corner. And then right here at the top, nice move to not foul Todd, get the arm around, and then nice little hop step to get through the paint, draws the contact, and one. This is a good example of one of those statistical games where NC State six offensive rebounds, though they only have four second chance points. And Boston College has turned it over five times. It's not a massive number yet, but it just all starts to add up. And that's why now NC State with eight more attempts from the floor than the Eagles even still with eight minutes to go in this second quarter. It's 21-13 to the seventh ranked Wolfpack. Kayla Thompson, the freshman point guard from Kentucky in there for the first time. Her left hand high off the window, no. Zoe Brooks, first year from Plainville, New Jersey in transition. No problem there for Brooks. Her first two and in a blink of an eye, it's a 10 point game. No offensive rebounds for Boston College, as you mentioned. More opportunities to try to score for NC State. There's a foul called there on Brooks, but when you have those chances, it allows you to keep adding on the points as we've been talking about. You see here on the drive from Brooks, that's another player we were talking about. 9.9 .9 points a game coming in. There are five players who are averaging 10 plus points. She's right there on the verge of making it six. They love to distribute the ball, and they're unselfish, very unselfish team. Doesn't have to be any one player, any particular game. That's no good from Lily Kresjovets, the first year. Out in front is James, and NC State is on the run right now on a timeout. Joanna Burnaby back to me. Didn't take much, but NC State takes advantage of the opportunities, and all of a sudden, a 9 nothing start point lead for NC State. A bunch of members of the pack have made the trip up to a snowy, slushy New England. Just New England weather. That's, yeah, that's what a perfect it is way to say today. it, right? <laughs> we don't know what to call it outside. Sidbury for three is good. That ends a one for eight stretch from the floor for Boston College. And that is a massive triple to get the Eagles going. First points of this second quarter. And that snaps a 9 0 NC State start to the second frame. Wagner nearly had a steal. Rivers got it back though, what a take! Sanaya Rivers! After it looked like Wagner had the steal, but Rivers right to the basket. And she is going to the line. My oh my, look at this move. Extra spin cycle on that one and still finds the rack. That's a beautiful move. And then gets the foul to go to the line. You know, Sanaya Rivers has had quite the career and she had 12 games this season with 15 plus points, and she is looking to get past that total again here today. Back to back three point plays. So it extends the NC State lead, nine points for Rivers. Started her career at South Carolina, won a national championship there in limited time. But the way she has come through, most notably her career high 33 points earlier this year to beat number two, Connecticut. 33 and 10 in that game. It was a big moment for the program, right? Number two, UConn, they coming to your house. They were able to match up with a healthy Huskies team. Yeah, it's just a reminder after. Down here is not the right word. I mean, they were 20 and 12 last year, but nine and nine in the ACC. Uh, we're picked a little bit lower in the preseason poll, unranked in the national poll than you know, what they've been the last few years. Just a little bit of a reminder. The Packer here to play. They're 
driver Baldwin got rid of it. Here is James on the drive. Left hand high off the window. That's really well done by Isaiah James. And State's just not missing from the floor right now. Shooting over 50%. It's 30 to 16. And a whistle away from the ball here. You mentioned Rivers. I mean, Isaiah James as well. She had a career high 33 points against Duke earlier this year. Just one of nine ACC players to get to that 30 mark. And you see right there, just great ball protection to get through the defense and able to finish. And that's what NC State has been able to do well here in that first half is finish at the rim. They're not taking a lot of jump shots or three-point shots. They're attacking the paint. Since this game was a three-point mark as Todd is off at 16 to 13. Boston College is just one of five from the floor and NC State is six for six. Free throws not included, which there are a bunch of them in there. Madison Hayes with her first two. And NC State has doubled up Boston College. They're outscoring the Eagles 16 to three here in this second quarter. Just using their size, pushing around the guards. Todd gets inside, that is blocked. Wagner throws it up and will get free throws. Octavia, who has earned herself more trips to the line here recently. It's important, especially when you're trying to close a gap to try to draw some fouls, get opportunities to slow down the pace. NC State is off and running here in the second quarter. So for the Eagles, just try to slow it down a little bit, play your style of game, or get NC State to bite into that playing your style. Feels like everybody for the Wolfpack plays with an edge, right? They come out, they hustle hard, they have that grit. Kayla Lazama checks in for Boston College. NC State with only three fouls total in this game. That is one of the spots they really excel. Do not foul very much, don't give you many opportunities. Eagles create a turnover, now need to capitalize. Daly, it's blocked, got it back, goes up and is fouled. River Baldwin reaching from behind. There's a sense of, of the size playing a factor now. Eagles keep pump faking there when they get down to the paint, expecting a big or, or some arms to come into the play. You'll see it here a couple of times with Daly, and then she'll get her own rebound off the block, and then gets fouled from behind. But there's that, you hear footsteps, right, when you're a player and sometimes you just got to go straight up with it and draw the foul that way instead of waiting to bait somebody to draw a foul. Andrea Daly, the Eagles' leading scorer, at over 15 points a game this season. A five-plus point jump in her own right this year, but missed two at the line. And the second quarter has been all state. Though the Eagles continue to create some turnovers here. Sidbury inside. No, Daly follows it up and wisely elects to reset a touch here. Daly got it back. Open corner three is good. First points for Andrea Daly. Coming off just four on the road against Louisville on Thursday. That starts on the defensive end, Eric. They get back in transition, set up the play, reset it after it got sent back out, and they found the right shot. Bowie Brooks kicks to the corner. James for three is good. Isaiah James matches the triples, and she has 14 points. Another one to match for Todd, no good. C State will go again. Octavia Wagner back in now for Boston College off the turnover. This is back for Boston College. Sidberry hustling back to get that pass away from Baldwin. And then you see Kayla Ivey with eyes going back up. The reset out towards Todd. And you see Daly. No one's surrounding her, so she'll post up there at the three-point line to fire that shot. Well, they have turned it over a little bit. Eagles have caused some, but... Eight consecutive shots NC State has made from the floor. Sidbury for three, that's too strong. Todd read it really well though. 
Good job by Tiana Todd to see that that shot was off and follows it up. Eagles trying to hang close here. It's a 12-point game. Considering NC State shooting 54% from the floor. Brooks moving away from Sidbury. River Baldwin, the size advantage inside. James on the drive, little floater, no. Baldwin had a piece of the rebound, and then that's one where her size almost causes the foul as she doesn't secure it cleanly. And that's the second foul on River Baldwin. Yeah, I credit Sidbury as well, who's been crashing boards on both the offensive and defensive end. You know, if you're Boston College, the Sidbury's gonna be a big part of the game plan to success going, you know, being one of the bigger players for Boston College. And she's finally finding that rhythm here in the second, whether it's driving, kicking out, protecting on the defensive end. See if she can make some free throws. Thank you, pardon. They have that as the first foul on River Baldwin still. Right now, Boston College. A couple of misses at the foul line. CBC now in a man defense. They switch from that zone to match up. for three, that is strong. Good read by Madison Hayes in his foul. Yeah, Hayes saw that one going a little heavy off the side of the rim, so she crashed boards and was unmarked there by Todd. So another second chance opportunity here for the Wolfpack. Hey, watch out now, down low, cameraman. Well, Hayes is one of those players that continues to show that energy we were talking about. Finished by Collins. 37-24, NC State the lead, 2.45 to go. Here in the first half from Conti Forum. Wagner turned it over. It's the help side D for NC State coming in to help out. Dontavia Wagner pretty quiet. Nice little give and go. Collins inside, no. And then almost kind of had to hold up on the rebound because Wagner was down on the floor, so couldn't quite go and grab it, even though she read the miss. Allowed Todd to get to it. Double team comes and is stolen. Excellent read by Rivers, who's fouled by Kayla Ivey. Another steal there for Rivers. It's a good read, as you said, Eric, just finding those opportunities to close those gaps on those passing lanes. And when the double team comes, the guards are moving. They're, they're trying to take away the extra pass for Boston College. And that's led to a lot of turnovers here for the Eagles in this first half, mainly here in the second quarter. You can see the uh, opponents in crime there with the steals where they rank in the ACC. Both players like to hound that ball. Biggest difference in this game was that 9-0 run to start the second quarter for NC State. Other than that, it's been relatively even. Rivers inside. Boy, a special game for Sanaya Rivers. So already, Rivers has 11 and James has 14 of NC State's 39 in this first half. 52% from the floor, and most of it is inside. Only five three-point attempts and two makes. Wagner is not there for the outside. Got a lot of second chance opportunities for the Eagles as well. They are forced to one and done. James again for three. That was too strong. 4th possession here for Boston College. Not scored in the last two minutes. Not scored 23 to 11 here in the second. Wagner is fouled before the shot. So the foul is on the floor. Though so NC State is in the bonus, so Dontavia Wagner will get free throws. It's this last drive by Sanaya Rivers. A little hezzy right there to get the jump from Wagner, and then the nice little scoop finish as she works her way into the paint. 
And there's a reason why she's on a lot of watch lists. She is good. Miner, who always seems to play well against her former team. Now her third season with Boston College. Now on the one hand, NC State's done a really nice job kind of pulling away a little bit in the second quarter. On the other hand, still only 13. Not that 13 is, you know, you're right there, but if Boston College can you know, maybe find a stop and a score here, you're set the done. I'm still right in this. Wagner going for the steal. It's even those around enough. Yeah, it's it's that it's that like you said, NC State started with a 9-0 run. If you're Boston College, you feel like you can also match that 9-0 run with a couple of buckets and a couple of stops. Hayes gets the three. And just when it felt like maybe the Eagles are hanging in, a massive three-pointer for Madison Hayes to give NC State its largest lead of the day. Thompson thought about it with 17 to shoot. Wagner, that three's there, but that is no good. And it is out of bounds. So remember that sequence. With the game at 13, depending on what happens, NC State hits the three at one end. Boston College misses at the other. And now 22.4 seconds to go for NC State with possession and no timer. Rivers made the play at the end of the first. Goes inside. Collins, it's off her hands and Jai's got it. And that will do it. So, NC State a big three. Your high scoring 24 points against Clemson, narrowly missing the double-double. So, it just feels like everybody on this roster, and they play a short roster, are finding success. River Baldwin starts the second half just as she started the first half with a bucket inside. That is 30 points in the paint this afternoon for NC State. 30 of their 44 are just lead of the game right now at 18. Ivy runs the offense. Good bounce pass for Wagner. Well, Coach Moore talked about Kayla Ivy and his scouting of Boston College and was so complimentary of what she's been able to do. I mean, her numbers and to assist a turnover ratio are phenomenal. Some of the best in the country and the best in the conference. And pretty much first in the ACC and assist to turnovers all through the conference season. As a foul committed at that end for Boston College. Wagner, by the way, now into double figures. First for the Eagles with 10 points. Ivy's assists have come down a little bit over the last few games, but of course, she's now, because of how well she's run the offense, you move higher up the scout in terms of what teams are trying to take away, and it makes life all the more difficult as James knocks down the first. You can see it, even on that last play, a couple of defenders come out, they don't see the cutting Wagner. A good vision from Ivy. NC State shoots 74% from the free throw line on the season. They are five for six today. And the lead back to 18. Todd along two is good. Eight points for Tiana Todd. Rivers, we've seen her on that drive a few times. Taking advantage of the miscommunication there. The screen didn't come the, for BC, the help side defense, so she just ran past the defender. And even when the Eagles' offense is off to a good start here in the third quarter, NC State has matched punch for punch. <laughs> Ivy is too strong from three. And Madison Hayes has the rebound. Rivers right back inside, quickly. The bucket not there. Um, Hayes on the side of the paint. Then Mimi Collins is called for the foul, her first. Mimi Collins just crashes boards. It doesn't matter who's in her way. She's going to try to get that ball, and this time she's got a little too aggressive over the back of Ivy and Todd. 
that's a player that you want on your roster, right? Somebody who's going to go after those 50-50 balls and chase down rebounds no matter where it's coming off the rim. There's Kayla Ivey. It's it back for Andrea Daly. Three points in that first half for Daly. NC State has taken away the Eagles' leading score. Sidbury for three is good. And so nine points quietly for Taya Sidbury, Eagles' second leading scorer today. Even with the shot clock going down, BC is still able to keep their composure and find the kick out to the corner. Rivers, good back cut with Hayes. Quite the offensive day for NC State. Eagles quickly answer though. I think we saw that in the first quarter. Both teams kind of getting out and running and that time maybe too much on the run. But we hadn't seen that in a little while. Both teams definitely want to do that. They both like to run. Danny, going back to that Sidbury three. Kayla Ivey with the dish to the corner, drawing the defense back into the paint. Too much space for Sidbury. And we've talked about it at length here throughout this game is that's the player Boston College wants to get going here as she provides size and energy out on the floor for the Eagles. Here's Daly, that's good. So Andrea Daly a little bit more forceful shooting the ball and that's now seven points. Back-to-back -back made shots here in this second half. And that's what we said. They don't have to match NC State attacking the paint. There's too much size down there. Develop the jump shots and get them to fall. I really like Rivers' game. Drive and kick and good for Hayes. She's the first one to have a big smile on her face when a teammate makes a shot. It's just awesome. She's one of those teammates any coach would want on the roster. Sidbury, left hand, good. 11 for Sidbury. The Eagles are now coming to life on the offensive end, but they have not been able to stop NC State at the other end. Rivers again right down the lane, and Sidbury does get over. Out of bounds, off of 32 and goal. You know, it's that first step for, for Rivers. It's so quick. Once she gets by a defender, it's so hard for them to regroup. And you see the block here for Sidbury. Great job going straight up to get a hand on that ball and not draw the foul. Baldwin kicks to the corner. Collins is good. Mimi Collins, who really worked hard in the offseason to work on her shot and kind of change her shot, more coming from her shoulder than up high. And Wes Moore thinks it's made a really big difference for Collins, who's now a 44% three-point shooter this year. Hey, you joked the last player that shot from above their head that was that good was Larry Bird. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That last one was a long two, but the point still stands. 55 to 39. There's Baldwin, elbow jumper with just four on the timer was off. At BC possession, Eagles have made four of their last five from the floor. That's one of those stops you gotta take advantage of if you're Boston College. You get the ball right back, no points on the board. Try to get some points to cut into this deficit. Each team with 13 points in this third quarter, which is over halfway gone. Here's Sidbury right hand. No, oh, a little short. I like the idea there for Sidbury trying to attack River Baldwin, who's not at 100% here for the Wolfpack, but you're able to capitalize on that drive. Getting more points for your team. James off to her left and is fouled. 425 to go in the third. And the NC State halftime lead has stayed at the same 16-point mark halfway through the third. 
so yeah, U.S. Over 200 girls and their families to the National Girls and Women's in Sports Day Clinic, sponsored by the City of Austin Credit Union. Coach Mack kicked off the event with a warm welcome before inviting all the attendees to interact with all 14 of Boston College's women's sports teams. Really exciting events. They participated in a bunch of different skills and stretches, and practice and drills. And then a ticket to today's women's basketball game was included, which is why we have so many youngsters here today. And what an exciting event it was. And it's really been a special event year in and year out around here. Yeah, and it just, it's part of the story of many players who went to games or had an opportunity to meet players and they say that that's one of the catalysts for them to play the sport or to continue to fall in love with the sport and it's such a great way to reach the youth in today's game. Well, they have seen NC State build a 56 to 39 lead with 418 remaining in the third. Zaya James now over her season average with 17 points after that made free throw. NC State's been very good at the line today. They've been very good offensively, period, today. Todd with five to shoot. Ivy gets around to her left, got to get it off. A bad look, Sidbury inside of his foul. I'll tell you, Sidbury's playing motivated here in the third quarter. 3rd foul on River Baldwin. Just see the hustle there, especially on Baldwin, to outreach one of the tallest players on the court. Finding a stride, and now five points here, missing the free throw, but again, just trying to attack for Boston College and get points. So Sidbury makes the second. Sidbury is just a, a great addition for this Boston College team. Both in the ACC in field goal percentage and rebounds per game. Getting comfortable in ACC play. They're playing at Utah for the Pac-12 champs a season ago. That commits a foul here on the reach. Second foul on Sidbury. Here's James on the drive, the lefty, no good. Well, you feel like you have to take advantage of every one of these stops, as well as NC State has shot the basketball from the floor today at 52%. Eagles having some momentum on the offensive end here in this third quarter. Still the same 16-point lead it was at the break, and it stays that way as Wagner's off the mark for the elbow. Collins inside. No. Had the size advantage against Todd, but Todd did enough. Ivy in transition. Sidbury. Defense catches up. Sidbury on the drive. Got to the bucket. Boy, that's a pretty good look but just could not finish at the rim, and then the foul at the end of it. As she waves goodbye to Brooks, had Brooks going the opposite way, opened up the lane for her, but just couldn't finish, and good help side defense for the Wolfpack to make that layup a little bit more difficult for Taya Sidbury. Called that last foul on Octavia Wagner, so for Boston College, it's three on Wagner and three on Daly. NC State has opened up an 18-point lead again. Four points for Zoe Brooks. Ivy for three. That's off the mark. That's what the two, three zone has allowed. NC State is forcing Boston College to take those outside shots. James, good job to get inside, but short. Eagles have shot it at 46% from the floor in this third quarter, but NC State has shot it at 50% here in the third. And you mentioned Built this. the lead by two. It felt like the first quarter, and it still feels like that, right? They got hot early on in the first quarter, but then cooled off. They haven't made a field goal in the last 4 5 
Kayla Thompson and Nene and Jai and Lily Krashovets all into the game for BC. Five to shoot. It's Todd, cuts inside, and a held ball is called. Possession will stay here, but just 1.7 remaining on the timer. It's just, again, active hands from James to keep that left hand on the ball and draw the jump ball. Those have gone a little bit cold from the floor here over their last six, and Jai has to get it up. Decent look at the end of the timer. It's off the mark down to Rivers. We've got number 31 for NC State today. And Jai and Crash of Vets do a good job to get back, but it's taken right back away by James. And here a held ball, and possession will go the other way this time. Freshman not backing down, goes to the ground to try to play this ball here on James, but everybody, it feels like all these guards for the Wolfpack, they are just ball hungry. A little extra there on the reach, but nothing, nothing too bad. Cooler heads prevail here. The swag NGI plays with, I mean, it just doesn't back down from anybody. We'll take it to the rag, try to fire a shot. Jai goes to close out on James, and James comes in, makes the shot. 19 points for James. Took a peek over here. I thought she was looking at you, Eric. I thought you said something bad to her. Oh, she's fired up right now. <laughs> and her Wolfpack have a 20-point lead with under a minute to go here in the third. Sid Berry, no, knew it. Tried to follow, and it's out of bounds. It stays here as it's ruled off of Madison Hayes. That's Sidberry there, putting the extra work on the defensive end to try to keep the possession for Boston College. Sidberry to her left hand. Got a rare one-on-one -on -one matchup inside, but couldn't finish at the rim. So Boston College held it for a while at the beginning of this third quarter, but now NC State is on a run to build the lead to 22. And the Eagles have not scored in over three minutes. Officially a 6-0 run. Todd to end it. 11 for Tiana Todd, who shot at 35% from three this year. It's a big one, trying to get some momentum here. Going into the fourth quarter, now you need to stop if you're BC. There is Rivers, pull up from the elbow, no. A couple of seconds remaining in the quarter, it'll stay here with under a second to go. All right, the final chance for the Eagles, gotta get it in though. And that will do it for the third. So good finish for NC State. Boston. Here's Wagner on the drive and is fouled. So that third quarter, kind of a microcosm for the whole game. It was 14 to 14 in the third. Boston College hanging right with NC State, though not getting the stops on the other end. Both teams playing really well offensively. And then, just subtly, NC State kind of pulls away a little bit. The Eagles did hit a three at the end, so it ends up being just a three-point quarter. But they've just done enough of the little things, and that continues to add up over time. And again, no real second-chance opportunities for the Eagles. It feels like one and done, and NC State's going the other way. So, got to limit those opportunities for opposing teams to continue to fire more shots. 45 to 51 isn't that bad. James is good. What a game for Zaya James. Up to 22 points. At her season high 33 two games ago against Duke. Got it on the other end for Taya Sidberry, who now has 14. Yeah, we've been talking about James, a product from Virginia Beach, Virginia. And she has a scorer's mentality. Shoots the three really well, attacks in the mid-range, can go to the paint, isn't afraid of size mismatches. It's, she's one of those players that just plays with confidence, and that's what you want.
by the way, was the fourth foul as well at the end of it on River Baldwin. Foul on the floor against Sidbury. These guards, again, we've been talking about the guards for NC State. They're just so quick. They don't pick up their dribble very often, so they keep that dribble on the ground, and it allows them to see or make a play. Another foul here. Second on Lazama. He had not had a ton of fouls in this game, but two each way in the first minute here of the fourth. NC State trying to find a way to their sixth win in conference play this year, their 18th overall. Baldwin, it's no good. Well defended there by Daly, but an offensive rebound. Madison Hayes finds it, and James goes to her left. Out there on the runner. Daly, transition, three ball is good. Double figures for Daly. The 18th time this season. Once again, defense leading to offense. You see NC State trying to slow down the tempo here as BC is cutting into this lead. Now, Westmore told us this week, he said, you know, we know we like to run, but we need to be able to score in the half court and feel like we can when we need to. Rivers, seven to shoot, got to the paint. James is open, no good on the match. About as well as you could draw it up, just didn't go down for James. Daly, two in a row, yes! It's a nine nothing Boston College run. And we said it, Eric, right? If one team can do it, the other team can. They just need to get some stops. And so far, it's been BC with some good stops. Westmore will use the timeout. Largest run of the game for Boston College here to start the fourth. And maybe a ball game still to sort out on this ACC Sunday at Cutty Forum. Okay, when you turn around, you're going to see some more. Yeah, let's go. And it's been a year where the three-point shot's been a little bit up and down, but Andrea Daly making two now to bring it to 50% today, 7 of 14, and the Eagles are... Back in it, at an 11-point margin. Yeah, Sidbury two for four, Daly three of three. We said it, with the zone that NC State is playing, you have to get those shots to fall, and so far, it's been Daly here in the fourth. Eagles guarding closely, James for three at the end of the timer. No good, Sidbury has the rebound. BC can get within double digits for the first time since the first half. Both teams have gotten patient here in the fourth quarter. Trying to find the right shot. It's a 9-0 Boston College run. The last six from Daly. Knocked away. Four to shoot. Lazama. Got to get it off. It was blocked. Sidbury still has a little time. Oh, boy. And she is fouled with two tenths of a second on the timer. A Massive break there for the Eagles. Yeah, it looks like Collins just get gets under, oh, wraps her around, so that's where the foul is. Got her right arm around Sidbury on the block, so kind of lands on her. So it resets to 20 on the possession. Daly on the drive. Daly inside, not there. Sidbury, though, got the offensive rebound. Blocked by Hayes, though Sidbury got it back. Four to shoot for BC. Ivy for three is short. Eagles nearly had another rebound. What a possession. And on the one hand, a lot of good work. On the other hand, though, opportunity that NC State survives. Just got to capitalize on those opportunities, those second chances. And you got to credit BC. Their grit, their effort, their, their hustle is there here in the fourth quarter. But you got to limit the chances NC State's getting on the opposite end. The half court for State. Brooks got it inside, wide open Madison Hayes. And that could be a massive four point swing. How about that vision from Brooks just to draw the defense? Lazama elbow jumper is good. Nice look from Lazama. What shot there? Her first points of the game. 
played well here at home when she's gotten opportunities, so she could be that spark for Boston College. Played really well at the end of the non-conference, and she's earned more minutes. What a take inside from Collins. And then a... Inbound violation, it yeah. looks like, on Sidbury. Yes, she stepped over the line. So again... And Boston College get the stops when they need to to find the way back in this game. It's NC State trying to close it out on the road. The like late crash of Etz will come back in for Sidbury. Sorry, Eric, but yeah, I love that move. Give Sidbury a little time yep. to rest, get her back in onto the floor once she gets that breath. Yeah, I agree. It'll have to be a long spell. Important sequence here. NC State having just scored with Collins inside. James comes in at a foul on Andrea Daly. I think got a reach away from the ball. And if that's Daly, her, it's her fourth. Yeah, it looks like she just got the arm in there as the insert was coming for Collins on the pass from the top of the three-point line. You see with some size out there now trying to Get some quickness, but also some strength in the paint. Obviously, the Eagles here, a lot of work to do from the scoring standpoint, but if they can find their way back, Daly has four, Wagner has three, and Sidbury has three fouls. Another foul called away from the ball. That's going to put NC State in the bonus for the final 535 of the fourth quarter. A foul goes against Nene Njai. A delay of game warning against NC State. Nobody was there to inbound the ball. Comes into Hayes, who traveled before the shot. The NBC defense stepping up. They see Hayes cutting across. Put a body on her, and she has to rethink that shot. The shuffling of the feet causes the travel. So another chance to try to convert off a turnover. For Boston College, try to hang in this game at 13 points the deficit right now. And Jai to her left and throws it away. And Joanna Burnaby McNamee is going to bring Andrea Daly back on the floor with four fouls. This is where with the bench a little bit short right now for Boston College, it's kind of a you, know, you kind of trade one thing for the other here. And Sidbury's also going to check yep, in. So, so you have all three of your players in foul trouble right now on the floor for Boston College. But, of course, they are your three best scorers. And the Eagles need points more than anything right now. Hanging in, but still down by 13. Nice give and go. Hayes inside and converts. And that's one where maybe Daly can't go full bore at it because of the foul situation. So Hayes now with 14 points. Todd pull-up jumper is off. Rebound down to Hayes. And a couple of sequences in a row here where it felt like there was an opportunity maybe for BC to get back in. But NC State continues to convert on the offensive end. 51% from the floor today. Five to shoot, Rivers inside. Collins with a triple team there and a foul is called. And Coach Mack is upset because there was an arm on that ball for a long time, but no jump ball came. The foul comes as the shot is released and a chance for NC State to add to their lead. Second on Ivy, 422 to go in the fourth. NC State trying to hold on for win number 18 of the season. Oh. Refill? Help yourself, man. One more time at that last sequence. The foul called against Boston College, and it eventually goes against Kayla Ivy right there. It was that last hack. Everything was clean before that. They get Ivy on the foul. And again, remember, NC State is in the bonus the rest of the way with 422 to go. Not a massive run, but it's just a, kind of a crucial four points, now five points in a row for NC State after the Eagles had cut it to 11 a couple of different times, but never inside of that. 
Collins is good from the line. NC State has made their free throws today, eight of 10. And at Boston College for staying in it, letting NC State put the game away. But obviously work to do with 4.04 remaining here on a Sunday afternoon at Conti Forum. Eagles looking to avoid their first conference loss at home this season. Two free throws coming up. Everything has come late in the shot clock here. For the most part for Boston College. The defense for NC State forcing more passes, more, more looks for BC. After the foul against Zoe Brooks. Offensive rebound off a missed free throw. And to shoot for BC. Sid Berry gives it off Lazama. Six to shoot, three-pointer, too strong. And Rivers has another rebound. Out in front, Collins got in behind but missed, but an offensive board for Hayes. Collins' second try is good in the foul. That's what we call a stat stuffer, right? You missed the first one on purpose, you can get your own rebound. Yeah. <laughs> get a chance to improve your free throw percentage as well. But, I mean, how about the vision from Rivers, that pass? She was surrounded by Eagles, still sent it downfield. I mean, it is football Sunday, so maybe she's gonna watch some football here on the plane ride home, but just great vision down the court. So the free throw converted, and NC State has brought the lead back. On a nine nothing run, it is out to 20 once again. There's time. One of those where it felt like Boston College had pushed to a point where you could see something happen. Westmore will use the timeout. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. 76-58, the seventh-ranked Wolfpack with the lead here at Conti Forum. The warp rift is expanding. All worlds within the Calaxian Veil will be consumed. This difficulty demands a specialist, an ease specialist. Yeah, that, that's me. Geico makes it easy to get coverage for what you care about. Cars, apartments, jewelry. Jewelry? And what about the warp rift? <laughs> I've got you. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Dust in the cartridge. Goonie. <laughs> <laughs> From cars to renters to jewelry, it's easy to Geico. Out of the West Boy timeout. Just to finish the point we were kind of making again. You look at where this game was. It got to 11. Left a little bit of doubts. But then NC State has really done a nice job since that point. James is out in front. And that is now 24 points for Isaiah James. Wagner inside, no. So the final margin will, in all likelihood, kind of be a little bit bigger than it, what it was at one point in the fourth. Is that is out of bounds. Possession will stay here with NC State. Yeah, again, just trying to create opportunities. The guards looking up court to make sure they have somebody. And that time, it was James who's having a great game here today. Ace for three is no good. Collins, a nice putback. 17 points for Mimi Collins. So Collins over her season average, James over her season average, Hayes and Rivers as well, all over their season average today. Wagner is a little bit short playing against her former team today. Nice passing for NC State, maybe a little too strong there. Little English is spun away from Mimi Collins. And Jai, no good from three. Tied. Good work on the offensive rebound. 
and it's knocked out of bounds. NC State's going to bring in a couple of new faces here with the 80 to 58 lead. We see Steele back into the game the first year. Valerie Collier and Maddie Cox for NC State, who will be taking on one of their rivals, 20th ranked North Carolina, next time out. It's Thursday night. That's that 8 o'clock on ACC Network. Three ranked opponents in a row and four of the next five for NC State, though all three in a row, Carolina, Louisville, and Virginia Tech at Reynolds Coliseum, where NC State has not lost this year. Those crowds are just incredible down in Raleigh. I mean, they bring the atmosphere for those NC State Wolfpack games. North Carolina in second. That should be a good one with the rivalry they have. Now, there's a reason the Wolfpack are the highest ranked team in the ACC in the national picture right now. Came into this weekend ninth in the net rankings, but their schedule is the second highest combined opponent net ranking of any team in the country. There's room to move if they keep playing like this. Steal off the mark. A couple of follows not there, and it's out of bounds. 46.3 to go. Jana Ayesa, the first year from Egypt, is into the game as well for NC State. So again, the final score margin is going to be a little bit bigger than what it was as NC State, after BC got to 11, has finished this game on a 15-2 run over the last five minutes. With this win, Wolfpack will improve to 85 of their last 86 games are wins when holding their opponents under 60 points. You know, BC right now at 58, but it just shows you how when they play their defensive sets, it's hard for teams. We saw it earlier in the year with the UConn game uh, in that Paradise Jam against Kentucky and number three Colorado. Their defense has been one of the best in the country. Wolfpack team who were 500 in conference play last year. But they are back in the national spotlight once again here in 2024. Sid Burial 8 triple is good. So 82 to 61. Eagles still putting a little bit of pressure on defensively. So NC State will move to 18 and 2 overall and 6 and 2 in the ACC. Boston College will drop their first home game in conference play this year. Hug in for a while, but the seventh ranked team in the country ends up putting the Eagles away late. NC State will set up the showdown with their in state rival, North Carolina, on Thursday on ACC Network. Final seconds come off. 82-61, the Wolfpack are 18-2.